right? It came from being a graphic designer and a Canva champion, soon to be known as a Canvasador. I will change my background. Today, I wanted to share a new app that I've just found and thought it was really fun and really simple to use. Let me go over to my screen and share it with you. As always, you can find Canva apps on your homepage under apps, or I'll show you how you find it in your design screen later. So there's lots of new apps on Canva at the moment, but this one just particularly appealed to me. And it's called Speed Paint. And it says convert any image into a speed drawing video, which means you get a video out of it, which is really useful. Things like in Facebook and Instagram Shorts and TikTok. I'm going to use it in a new design. Click on here. And I'm going to do it as Instagram Story. And I've chosen Instagram Story, one because it's very useful to post stories, and the other is because I know that the image I want to have drawn is vertical. If you want to find apps when you're in your design screen, just click on the apps and search there and you'll find it as well. But now you can see it's come up here as Speed Paint. And the first thing I need to do is choose a file. I'm going to click on that and go and choose a file. Now I'm going to choose a photo that was taken of my horse. So I thought that would be a really nice one to create the speed paint effect with. And I think I'll choose this one. It's now come up as the image preview. Then as you scroll down, you have some options. You can have the overall smoothness. That's how many uh, frames per second, FPS is frames per second you want. The faster it is, the smoother the effect will be. I'm going to go for the middle one. You can then choose how long your sketch will last. So let's click on that. And you can have up to 20 seconds. And I'm going to go for 10 seconds. You can have color fill, or you can put in the background. And then you can add a fade out effect. And you can also add the sketching hand effect. So you have a hand drawing the picture. And then you simply click animate image. And it's analyzing my image quality. Processing the image does seem to be running very much lower than it was when I did it when I wasn't recording. But I do want to leave this in real time for you so you know exactly how long it can take. Previously, I actually joined a queue and I was seventh or eighth in the queue when I was trying to do this. And that's generating the video. We know videos can take a while to render. Almost there. Exciting to see what happens. And let me make this larger for you so you can see. And I'm just going to stretch it to full size. And then I'll go to the beginning and play it through for you. Then let me play it. And that fades through to the image. How neat is that? I'll just do it again because it is very fast. And for someone like me who cannot draw a straight line, this is just amazing to see. A very quick one today, and it's free. It's not a pro feature at all. It's a free feature that you can use if you want to create something different. If you found this video useful, if you could click the subscribe bell, you'll be notified when I record a video again, which will be next week. I hope that helps and I'll see you then.